So I started out in my undergrad at McGill um, many years ago, and I really wanted to do clinical psychology. And so I started out studying psychology at McGill. And within the first couple years, I realized that nobody knew what caused mental illness. So I decided that I wanted to switch my focus to being more somebody who was studying what, what made somebody become depressed or schizophrenic or whatever, rather than somebody who treated that person. So I got really fascinated with the, the field of neuroscience, which at that time wasn't a field. It was embedded within psychology and uh, did two undergraduate honors thesis in the field of neuroscience and um, caught on fire and found my passion. It was considered behavioral neuroscience, which was a sub-branch within psychology and still in some um, schools that's, that's what it's considered. So when I decided to apply for my master's degree, I, I applied in the Department of Psychology at Queen's, which had what was called the BBCS stream, which was the Brain, Behavior and Cognitive Science stream, which was one of, there was the personality stream, the clinical stream, the social stream. So I knew that that sort of the direction that I wanted to take, and I obviously got accepted and, and ended up doing uh, my master's and PhD thesis in the field of, of behavioral neuroscience. Carleton's awesome, especially for neuroscience. We are uh, one of the first uh, universities in Canada to actually have an undergraduate degree uh, available in, in neuroscience. So we have our combined honors program and we also have our new program, which is the neuroscience and mental health program, which is doing amazing. And we had uh, enrollments 300% uh, over our expected. So we're, we are, I would say, at the cutting edge of, of the area um, in terms of getting our, our, our next generation trained in the field of neuroscience. I have a two-year-old daughter, so uh, that kind of limits um, the, the, the partying. Um, <laughs> but uh, I do, I'm an avid exerciser, so uh, I, I do a lot of running. Uh, I, I do boot camp uh, here on campus, I do spinning classes, um, so that's, that's a huge part of my life. Uh, I, I have a book club, uh, I do a lot of reading. I love to bake and I usually bring in some of my baked goods to my students and the staff here um, when I have time. But uh, yeah, I uh, have a pretty rich life here in Ottawa, I have my family here, so I spend a lot of time with them. In a lot of my exams, I, I, I ask them uh, as a bonus question, and it's, you know, nothing, I'm okay with divulging this, I ask them what's the most interesting thing that you learned in this class. And I'm often amazed at what the students are writing and how they, they say that the courses that I teach, um, for probably because a lot of the topics are interesting and relevant, they say that it, it helped them look at things through a new light. And particularly when I teach classes that deal with stigma with regard to mental illness, all I want is those students to walk out and, and be educated and to understand that this is not because somebody's weak, um, that this is a, a disease. And, and there's a difference between feeling depressed and actually being depressed um, clinically. And, and if I can reach them in that way and for them to, to have more compassion and sympathy and empathy for, for people who are struggling with mental illness, then I think I've succeeded.